for progressive people, particularly people who came up through the civil rights movement, any undermining of the principle of respecting federal rule is dangerous. It takes you back to eras of states' rights which never worked for civil rights, if you know what I mean. I grew up in the civil rights movement, and I know that the federal government did not come running and embracing the civil rights movement. Sure. It got pushed to uh, embrace the civil rights movement, and it needed to be pushed even more. So when I talk about having to push the federal government, I'm just saying that I think that during the Obama administration, those of us who would call ourselves progressive and activists didn't push as hard as we would have if somebody else had been in that White House. And so I think one of the positives that's going to come out of this negative moment that we're in is a revitalization of democracy. And democracy needed revitalization. That people who understand that it is that tug and pull with the federal government, with local government that actually leads to good policy solutions, need to get back in that, that pulling and that tugging. I think that across the country, we're letting those people who are almost professionals decide how democracy is going to work. I think the people are taking it back into their own hands. They're saying, you professionals didn't exactly know what you were doing, and we're going to help you learn what it means to have your ear to the ground, to be in community, understanding the struggles of people trying to raise families, that the divides that have been fanned by our politicians aren't real divides when you actually get into community and talk with neighbors.